All right, uh, thanks for everybody being here. Um, I'd like to start off with, um, you guys probably know, but September is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. And uh, we as a football staff and team are gonna uh, honor Colton Sheets. Uh, he's a young, young man here in town. He's gonna be one of our honorary captains uh, this weekend. And uh, so I'm proud to uh, honor him. I'm proud for him to represent our football team. And uh, I hope it just brings some awareness uh, to this horrible disease that uh, someday we might be able to find a cure for. So I wanted to start out with that. Uh, like Mark said, uh, we got Charlotte this weekend. Uh, it's our first conference game. It's their first conference game. Um, it's their first year in the league officially, you know, so I know they're going to be very excited to play this game. They're 2-0. and They won their last two games last year, so they're on a four-game winning streak. Um, they're leading the conference in a lot of defensive categories. They're giving up less than 100 yards a game rushing, uh, about the same passing, about 150 a game passing. They're number one in total defense. So this is a really good football team coming in here. Uh, I know they're excited to play. They've got a good offense, scores a lot of points. Um, you know, they haven't scored as many this year as they did last year. But uh, they've got really good skill players. They're very well coached. Brad Lambert does a phenomenal job. I've known him for a long time. Uh, he's a really good coach, and he's really done a great job in building that program. Uh, so I know we're going to play a very well coached team, a very highly motivated team coming in here, and we've got to be ready to play our best game and uh, correct the mistakes that we made last week, continue to build on the things that we've done well this year. Uh, and I know our players are excited to play the game, so looking forward to it. Coach, you've been without Darius Johnson the past two weeks, but your offensive line has been able to hold up, especially last week against Alabama's defensive line. What are your impressions of your offensive line thus far? I think our line has done a really good job. Um, you know, it's tough to run the ball against uh, Alabama. Uh, not many people have had success, not just this year, us in Wisconsin, but uh, last year's team. So, um, you know, we rushed for 90 yards. Uh, you know, we made a couple, you know, short yardage, third and one, you know, fourth and one there a couple times. You know, we converted, which is very difficult to do. Uh, we've given up one sack uh, in two games. And, uh, you know, a lot of people have, you know, it's not just the line when you, when you don't give up sacks. It's, it's your backs are involved, your quarterback's involved. You know, so there's a lot of people involved in that. But um, there's a lot of room for improvement. You know, we're playing some, you know, first-time starters at both tackle positions. Uh, you know, Jalen's starting at guard where, you know, it's his first year starting. So, uh, been very pleased with their, you know, productivity that they've made so far this year. But we've got a long way to go. We can we can still improve an awful lot. Coach, what's the morale like uh, on the team after Saturday's loss? Well, uh, really disappointed Saturday night. Uh, Probably still disappointed and that, that sick feeling you get in your gut when you lose on Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon. Uh, we practiced yesterday and we had a good practice. That game's behind us now. Uh, but they, they took the loss as a coach how you'd hope they took it. Uh, First time we, we had a player cry after the game, and that's the first time we've had a player cry that I know of that wasn't the last game of the year. And that just shows you how much this team cares, how much that game meant to us, uh, how much each game means to us. So uh, 
but the morale is good. We got great senior leadership. We got great leadership within that team, within the locker room. Uh, but we had, like I said, we had a good practice yesterday. We, you know, the energy's there. We'll have, we don't practice today. Uh, I know we'll have a good one tomorrow. So uh, I think the, there, there's no walk around beating your chest because you know you did some good things about the with the number two team in the country. So I was glad to see that we weren't walking around, you know, with some kind of moral victory type attitude. Coach, you had uh, talked about senior leadership, but you've also had the uh, been productive offensively with uh, three freshman starters uh, in there. Talk about how they have been able to get into the mix, and in particular, well, the way Chandler Brewer has played just as you know a few months ago playing a high school game. Yeah, you know, I guess, I guess the freshmen are Brent, Richie James, and Chandler. Uh, they're been very pleased with them. The the moment yesterday or Saturday at Alabama, the stage, you know, it wasn't too big for them. It wasn't too big for any of us, for any of them. Uh, there wasn't anybody walking around taking pictures, you know, before the game and, you know, wow, we're in a big stadium, you know. So um, they've shown great composure. They've shown great poise. They've shown great discipline uh, in how they've played. And I think Chandler, you know, for being in the offensive line, uh, you know, to being a, a, a true freshman and only being here five weeks, you know, uh, has been very impressive. And I said earlier that, if he'll continue to work, he's got a chance to be a very special player. <clears throat> On the flip side, looking at Charlotte this week, they, uh, as a program that was able that started from scratch with Coach Lambert and going through there too deep, uh, is it surprising with how many red shirt upperclassmen they have on their too deep right now? Well, you know he's been recruiting there. This is I think his fifth year. 2011 they started so. Um, he's had a little bit of time to recruit the type of players that he wants in his program. Um, you know, and I'm sure he redshirted a bunch of those guys in 2011 and 2012. Uh, so those guys, I mean, it's not surprising, not really, uh, because he's had some time to, uh, to redshirt and develop his team. Is that kind of a bike the bullet thing? I think, I think, you know, and I've never, when I was at Central Florida, we were probably in the third year when I got there, the third or fourth year of starting that program up. Um, and you're going to take your lumps early. Uh, they were fortunate enough those first few years that they were able to play some teams that they were competitive with on, on basically on their same level. So, um, you know, they didn't have to go. They didn't get thrown to the wolves those first couple of years. So, uh, but Brad's an excellent coach, like I said, and he's done a great job in building that program, you know, from a facility standpoint. They've got really nice facilities. From a recruiting standpoint, they've got good players. And then schematically, what they're doing in all three phases, you know, it's a good football team. <clears throat> After the uh, Jackson State win, you talked about um... – being able to win, being able to win the wrong way, but you did it the right way. Um, can you lose the right way? And would you say that yeah. you did it? No, I, I don't think we we lost. I, I believe you can lose the right way. I, I believe if you know you do all the things, you protect the ball, you play well, you don't have a bunch of penalties, and the team beats you. You know you got to tip your hat, and they were better than us. You know we lost to Alabama, but. We didn't do the things, you know, that you have to do to win a game, and especially when you play the number two team in the country. You know, we put the ball on the on the ground three times. You know, the defense comes out and gets a stop on the first possession. You know, we complete a ball. We got second and five or four, whatever it was going to be, and we put the ball on the ground. And then the defense gets a stop right at the end of the half, and then the first play coming out of the blocks, you know, we put the ball on the ground, this, you know, in basically the same uh, type situation. So uh, we didn't do the things, and that's what irritates you as a player, frustrates you as a player, as a coach, that 
you know, we played extremely hard. We competed. We played really good in a lot of, a lot of areas. Individual players played really good in a lot of areas. But collectively as a team, uh, you, know, you can't do the things, you know, putting the ball on the ground like we did and have a chance to win. What has been your impression of your run defense so far through these two games? You guys held Alabama under 100 yards or under 75 yards at halftime. And, yeah, okay, I'm sorry. Go and, ahead. Uh, you know, you guys had an impressive start against Jackson State. What's been your impression so far? Well, I, I think we're better. Uh, I think we're tackling good. You know, we missed some tackles in space on the perimeter yesterday, Saturday against Alabama. Uh, Jackson State rushed for five yards. You know, we did a good job of making them one-dimensional. Uh, you play a whole game, you know, it's, uh, you know, that the halftime stats don't mean a whole lot. You know, you held them to whatever you said, under 100 yards rushing, but you play the whole game. Uh, I thought our defense has tackled and done a good job uh, the first two games in, in stopping the run. We played a, that offensive line was uh, really, really good, really talented. <clears throat> Excuse me, their backs are, were really good at Alabama. Uh, but I thought we competed and I thought we did a good job. You know, they got, you know, 70 yard pass play on that one, you know, jet sweep that they ran down to the one. Uh, you know, we gave up a few big plays uh, but for the most part, I thought we did a nice job uh, defensively and, and especially <clears throat> in the run game. We, we made some good plays on third down. We did a nice job third down. I think they were three out of 14. Uh, I might be wrong, but I believe this is uh, Charlotte's third, just their third season playing football. Um, is it more difficult to prepare for a team that has such a small sample size of of, of tape and of, of history, or is it just like any other game? Well, there's still, there's a little bit of an unknown uh, because they are so young. But when you watch, you got a whole season of tape from last year. You've got two games this year. They've got a new defensive coordinator this year. So, you know, watching a whole bunch defensively what they did in the past, you're not going to do that. You're going to watch, uh, you know, where he came from. Uh, you know, so I, I don't think it's a disadvantage at all uh, playing a young program like this. You sort of touched on this a little bit when talking about losing the right way. Uh, what, what do you, what's the message, I guess, to your guys about the way you guys played against Alabama? You know, we, we talk all the time, it's about us. It's, it's not about Alabama, and that's how we talked all week, last week, that, you know, we can't control how Alabama's going to play. You can't control how Charlotte's going to play. It's about us. It's about how we prepare, how we play, the mental intensity, the mental focus, how we play and prepare for a game. And to me, it was evident. you got to give Alabama credit. You know, they did a good job of, pulling the ball out, stripping it. Um, but, you know, if we would have been a little bit better fundamentally, if we'd have secured the ball better, uh, they wouldn't have done that. So you got to give them credit, but the bottom line, it comes back to us securing the ball, protecting the ball, controlling what we can control. So um, it's never about who you play, and, and that's – how we've always done things here and how we'll always continue to do. So it's just, the focus this week is, again, on get, about us, about us getting better and improving fundamentally from where we made the mistakes last week. And what did the – you touched on it when you, in your opening comments. It, obviously, they're leading statistically defensively, Charlotte is. is it, what, what is it about them that they do so well? They Well, they haven't given up a bunch of big plays defensively. Um, they tackle really well. They're, they're a good tackling team, which enables them to have the, the defensive rushing stats that they have holding under 100 yards. So uh, they do a good job. They do a good job of mixing up their front uh, from a four-man front to a three-man front. Uh, they do a good job in the secondary of disguising coverages. And I think those two 
you know, play hand in hand uh, with what your offense sees on a, from a play to play standpoint. So they just do a good job schematically, defensively, and everything that they're doing. And, and finally, how, how have you been? I guess what would you, what are your impressions of your son and how he has played in the two games? I think Brent has done a uh, has done a really good job. He's uh, he's played with. Uh, great composure and great poise. He's had great pocket presence, you know, and he's done a good job of, you know, checking down, finding the second and third receivers. And uh, I think he's done a good job from a leadership standpoint. Uh, you know, our offense, we're faster, we're getting lined up, you know, and that is, that's a byproduct of everybody, not just the quarterback. Uh, you know, he threw an interception against Alabama. He can't do that. Um, but I've been very pleased with his performance so far. And again, like I said earlier, I don't think the the stage, the the that game was too big for anybody out there. Uh, but when you're a you know a new player uh, like Richie James is and Chandler and and Brent and some of the other guys on defense, Bones. You know, those guys, that's the first time they've played out there, and uh, the moment wasn't too big. And I thought they, uh, I thought Brent and everybody else showed a lot of poise uh, and toughness in that game. Coach, we've uh, talked a lot as, as media members, we've talked a lot about NT having a chip on their shoulder. I look at Charlotte, and it looks like they have a chip on their shoulder as well. They, they lost their O line coach tragically in August. Uh, they've gotten their first FBS win, now looking for their first CUSA win. Um, is is it going to be kind of an odd situation to see the other team with that chip on the shoulder? Yeah, their chip isn't as big as ours. And um, every team we play, I assume they've got a chip. Every team we play, I, I assume Alabama's got a chip. I assume they got something to prove, you know. I'm sure they want to be number one. They don't want to be number two. Uh, so I assume everybody we play has got a chip on their shoulder, but that's our mentality. It doesn't matter who we play. We're going to uh, – we got something to prove every game, every practice, every day. Um, so uh, we, we've got a wonderful attitude on this team, a competitive attitude, a competitive spirit uh, that we want to get better. And, uh, again, it doesn't matter how big their chip is. It's about us, and uh, we'll be ready to play this game. I promise you that.